Hello everyone and welcome to Politics Today on Channels Television. I'm Sean Kimbala. It's good to be back uh, after some uh, days away. Uh, but before we delve into our major topic of the day, let's bring you some uh, political news that we have for you. Let's begin in River State, where the governor, Yusuf Wike, says he does not believe in the investigation undertaken by the Nigerian police over the reverse rerun election process and its outcome. The governor says the outcome of the panel activities is already prejudged and bias the special joint investigative panel set up by the inspector general of police on the rerun election in river state has been given account of work done so far according to the panel uh, after about three weeks of work over 50 person including groups politicians security personnel and other concerned individuals have been interrogated Speaking at the headquarters of the police command in River State, the chairman of the panel, DCP Damien Okoro, says the commission is not on a witch hunt, stating that investigation is based on fair hearing. And now away from River State, uh, still staying in the South South region of the country. To Edo now to some election matters. The Court of Appeals sitting in Benin City, the Edo State Capital, has thrown out the Young Democratic Party case against the victory of the governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki. The YDP and his governorship candidate, Nuruddin Wanfaro, has asked the court to obtain the judgment of the Edo State Election Petition Tribunal given on December the 8th, 2016, following the dismissal of their petition against the declaration of Mr. Godwin Obasaki as the winner of the September 28th governorship election in the state. The petitioners had approached the appellate court seeking to obtain the judgment Joined as respondents in the appeal are the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, or Progressive Congress, APC, and Mr. Godwin Obasaki. The Young Democratic Party has, however, come out to say it will not appeal the judgment of the appellate court. The party chairman, Mr. Bishop Amakri, told Channel Television that the party will not challenge the outcome of the uh, decision of the appeal court. We're assisting in Edo and in the related case, still uh, on the Edo governorship matter. Hearing has commenced in the suit filed by the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Pastor Osage Izeyamo, and his party, the PDP, challenging the election of Godwin Obaseki of the APC in the September 28, 2016 Edo State governorship election. Before the commencement of the hearing, the tribunal dismissed the application by the petitioner seeking a variation of the court's earlier order of inspection of sensitive materials used for the election at the tribunal also admitted exhibits standard by the petitioners before adjourning to Monday, January 16th for continuation of proceedings. Some more interesting stories happening, especially at the national level. I know a lot of you have your eyes on what is happening in the National Assembly and, of course, the relationship between the National Assembly and the Executive. Well, the trial of the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, at the Code of Conduct Tribunal over alleged false declaration of asset has been adjourned to the 17th of January for continuation of hearing. At the resumed hearing of the case, the prosecution counsel, Rotimi Jacobs, concluded his re-examination of the first principal witness, Michael Wetkas, over the ownership of the property at number 15, McDonald Road, Ikoi, Lagos, which is said to, be, uh, to belong to the Senate president. The defense counsel, represented by Mr. Paul Usaro, however, insists that the evidence of the witness is of no effect on the allegations against Dr. Bukola Saraki. Where the Senate President is busy. They, uh, after leaving that courtroom, uh, he was at the presidential villa earlier today. He visited the President Muhammad Obuari at the Asurok Villa. The Senate President says there is no crisis in the Senate over the removal of Senator Ali Indume as Senate leader. The All Progressive Congress APC caucus in the Senate, in a letter to the Senate President on Tuesday, had replaced Indume with Senator Hamed Lawan, speaking with State House correspondents after meeting with President Muhammad Buhari. Senator Saraki says the institution is bigger than every senator. On the purpose of his visit to the villa, Dr. Saraki says it was to get the government going, especially on the issue of the budget. Take a listen to him now. 
always consult on national issues and discuss issues of uh, common interest for the government, getting the government going, getting the National Assembly moving. And as you know, there's nothing as important for us now than uh, the budget process and the work we need to do on those areas. So there's no crisis in the National Assembly. Um, this, this, uh, things like this do happen. And um, whereas, as you say, the institution is bigger than everybody. And uh, I'm sure him, he and everybody else will always work for the interests of the institution and then for the interests of the country. Uh, the, 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 everything is uh, calm, solid and fine. Yeah. The Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki. Well, let's move away from uh, that. Well, we will be talking about just that in a moment. But let's take a look at what has been happening about the budget as we look at the relationship between the National Assembly and the Executive, one that has been described as frosty in the pre recent past. Yesterday, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Yakubu Dogara, said, the National Assembly, we work assiduously to pass the budget. Last year, the budget process was characterized by the allegations of budget padding, missing budget claims, and high-level politicking. It went ahead when a member of uh, the House of Reps says that there was high-level fraud and uh, corruption in the National Assembly. Well, all eyes are on the process this time around to ensure such a scenario of last year does not happen again. And here is a speaker, Yakubu Dogara, on the budget process. We must brace up and work assiduously and consensuously to give Nigerians a budget that will not only lift us out of recession, but kickstart the needed expeditious journey into Nigeria's prosperity. Pledge to reform the budget process. To this end, therefore, we will ensure that the procedure and process of consideration and passage of 2017 budget is transparent, inclusive, and professionally handled. The recent fiscal measures, including import prohibition of certain items, and the increase or decrease of tariff of some items should receive appropriate legislative scrutiny to ensure that the economy and the interests of our people are protected. We must ensure that we take no prisoners in accomplishing this tax. Honorable Yakubu Dogara, Speaker, House.